I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Usually it'll tell me like like a banner that has numbers on it unless I'm tired. I don't know what happened. Come on, Sylvie. Yeah. Hi, what happened? That's happened to me before. I did a live with a guy and I think that they report it, but it's not like TikTok where it'll, it'll just come down and you can go right back. Run out? Did the time run out? I, maybe. I don't know. I didn't I don't remember seeing it. Last time I caught okay. it. Maybe I didn't because it's around the time I looked at the clock and it said 903. I, I don't know so, what happened. I'm going to I'm going to dip off here in a minute, but let me just address this real quick, right? So that Discord, I asked for Tommy's um Tommy's, uh, my dude's information. And um, I asked for it so I could report him to the police because he doxxed a firefighter while he was on live. And I was like, you know what? This is a crime. He just doxxed an, an official. That person could lose their job. They were getting harassed. Yeah. They had kids. And I wanted to give that information to the police. But one thing I didn't do is I never doxxed anybody with any information that I found on there. So we were gathering information the same way a lot of people do. You know, somebody, it was mostly just, did you see this post? Did you see that post? Oh, my God, I can't believe it. Well, you didn't answer. Can you answer the pin question before you leave? Yeah, because yeah. It, it went down. But do you remember it? The pin yeah. question was about colonizer. Okay. So yeah. the, it was, if you found the word colonizer offensive, how can you see that it is not offensive for the word that I use? And I 100% understand and agree. And that's why I did say earlier that I do understand that yes, that word is offensive. And I also was trying to explain how I feel words like colonizer, cracker, mayonnaise, right? Those words are offensive towards white people. I mean, I have pretty thick skin. It doesn't really bother me, but I can see how when you, when you take somebody that has, um, let's say no, not, not a racist bone in their body and they're going, they come online and they're being called racist, they're being called colonizers, they're being called cracker and mayonnaise. And it's 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 got to break their spirit down a little bit to feel like that people feel that way about them. They think less of them, right? Because that's the feeling. That's the feeling that people will get, right? To feel less than, to feel like you're being dehumanized down to something like a cracker or mayonnaise, right? And I think that it's 100% something that I need to reflect on when when using that word especially online because mm -hmm. once again saying something to my friends who i know are cool with it who i grew up with right doesn't make it right it doesn't make it right doesn't make it right but saying something to my friends in a, in a private conversation right if they allow it then that's fine yeah that's, that's, not, that's yeah that's that. it's definitely not the same as coming online and saying it to you know people that are could potentially be hurt by it because that's exactly what Lance does. That's exactly what these people do when they say colonizer and, and cracker and mayonnaise, right? So yeah. I get it. And that's why I said, I was like, I'm going to try so, so, so hard to never say that word um, on online. So, I, so, I mean, I'll even, try, I'll even try to cut it out of so my vocabulary. So here's my thing, though. If you're not a racist, right, and, and I'm not saying you are, and, and and someone is addressing someone who is, and they use words that you don't like, you know, to address that person. Is mm -hmm. that, is it still bothering you? It all, the, the hypocrisy bothers me more than anything, right? Because I'm one of those I heard, people. I get, I get what you're saying with that part. I get it, the, that part. I'm one of those people that believes we should make all words okay, right? And that's just me. And I know that a lot of people don't agree with that. I think all words should be okay. Because I think a bad word or a racist word needs to be across the board. I think a swastika sticker is, is vehemently agreed, agreed upon across the board as a symbol of racism, right? A swastika sticker is racist, right? A swastika mm -hmm. is racist. That's, those, words, those words make sense to everybody, right? That's racist. Yeah. But when you say the N word is racist, when these people use it, but not when these people use it, it's well, very confusing because the word isn't racist. It's just who uses it. No, the word is racist. However, it's racist, it's because racist. people call us that so much, we took the name. So when well, they do you know, say yeah, it, we don't saying. beat somebody. We mm -hmm. can have a conversation. I'm going to be honest. I love well, my it. Thing, if that's your but, excuse, if that, no, if your excuse is, if your excuse with the N-word is that because black people use it, some because some black people use it, then we should all be able to use it. That's not a good argument for you. 
that's I'm not, not that's so that's what I'm saying. So you can't I'm not be like well all people should be able to use it. I'm saying that if people are saying that it's a racist word, then it's a racist word all the time. That's what my argument is. It's not whether but it's but it's not but it's not all the time because when it's a black people took it back and made it a term of endearment. I don't agree with it. I personally don't want to be called that. I yeah. so that's just me. But there's I mean, I can't tell other black people what to do. Yeah. Also also I'm not a black American. I'm Jamaican. So like I See, don't, I'm I don't a use that. I'm, a, <laughs> so. I'm Italian, and if you put me in, in next to another Italian, and, and I was like, yo, what's up, Guinea, right? Like, I wouldn't be offended. He wouldn't be offended. But here's the other thing. If somebody else called us Guinea, we, neither of us would be offended, right? Most of the time, I mean, that's I just the way. Know, that is a racial slur, though. So I don't, I don't know if that's a, I don't know. It I've is. never heard it of that is. word. It absolutely is. <laughs> yeah. I just know that that song by Cardi B <laughs> and Meg Thee Stallion is a, is a, derogatory word toward Italians. That's the yeah, only it is. Yeah. But I, like, that's the thing. It's like, I think I'm of the mindset that words only have as much power as you give them, right? So that's words, true. words are weapons, but they are only loaded with intent, right? Intent is the bullets. Intent is the ammunition. So a word can be a weapon. A word can be a weapon all the time. That N-word is a weapon all the time. But if you don't load it with intent, if you don't load it with hate, if you don't load it towards somebody, then it's not, right? And I'm, I'm saying I did that, right? Yeah. Not in a racial way, but I did take a word and weaponize it to piss somebody off, and I will own that and apologize for it, which I've Alex. done. Yeah. But people but need you to know what? I want to yeah. say this. I want to say this. First off, I want people to understand that I'm responding to comments when I do like this, mm -hmm. I, I, that I'm seeing you. Um, yeah. But I do want to say this. Um, a derogatory word toward a group of people, only that group of people can decide who can use it. Because if anybody else outside that group of people uses it, we can't read your mind. We don't know what intent you have. So we don't know if you're being condescending, if you're being funny. If yeah. We don't want you to say it at all because for one, you should not right. to protect yourself. If you're not a racist, then you shouldn't say it. So, but, but you don't want you people just to, have to You just have to look. You just have to look where the word came from. First yeah. of all, that's it. And so, where it stems from, you have to understand that the way that some black people are using it now is that they've taken it, they reclaimed it, and so that's what it is. And but I mean, I still don't like that word. I mean, but, but I you can't reclaim it. You reclaimed it, took the power away from it, made it made it a word, uh, a term of endear endearment, which normalized it, and then people started using it. But then you took it, you took it to the, to the whole. Well, we well, this, well because can't you understand why? No, because it's because it's <laughs> in our community, everything that you said is in our community. I get Not it, but nobody else is community. community had no community one is, music, is gold selling albums, platinum selling albums. One, one moment, Zach. Movies. One moment. Yeah. Um, Latino people can't say it. Asians can't say it. Uh, Latinos can't say it. Mm -hmm. White people can't say it because it's directly toward black people. Even though white people call and Arabic people, even though white people call Arabic people sand in words, we know that that's from our ancestors. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to say this real quick so that you have an understanding of how close together slavery was to current day. My mm. great grandfather, and I think I mentioned this to you before, my mm. great grandfather was a slave. Mm -hmm. And the federal government went and interviewed all the living slaves that was left. And he is in the Library of Congress, William Black of Hannibal, Missouri. Mm -hmm. So when he was here, that word was negative. He was mm -hmm. he was actually here long enough to see my dad. Sure. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, possibly see my dad. I know he's seen his sisters. You know what I mean? Yeah. But with that being said, I don't want, I don't, I, we're not trying to, to just blow off your, your understanding because, you know, we're trying to get an understanding as to not only you, Zach, but why there's a bunch of non-minority people or non-black people that feel the way that you do. Oh, Toby, can you mute for a minute? Yeah, okay. hold on. So, even though you, um, 
you have used the used the term, turned it around, taken the power away from it, turned it into an endearment that you wanted to only be able to use towards each other. You've thrown it in platinum selling albums and Oscar winning movies, which unfortunately white people are going to watch and it's feeling normalized and they feel like if we are taking, if they are taking the power away from the word and we want equality for all, then let's, let's normalize the word as long as we're not using it towards hate. That's the, that's the mindset that I have towards it. Growing up with a lot of black friends that had no problem with me saying it. That's where my mind goes. And you feel differently than them. You feel like it's not okay. They feel it is okay. I don't know who I'm supposed to listen to. This uh, is the black people, that's the majority. Now here's the thing. I understand that you have a close relationship with your friends. No one can tell you what kind of friend relationship mm -hmm. you guys have. You know what I'm saying? But what I can say is when you leave that house that your friends is at or you hang up that phone, you're gonna come across a whole world of black people. Yeah. Not two or three or five that no, cool. I, understand. I understand. And we're smart I'm smart enough to not be like, you know what? I'm I know that this I know that everybody's gonna be fine with it and then, you know, walk through a predominantly black neighborhood and just start going like, What's up, my and we're I get that. I get that. I mean, you can use common sense, but what I'm trying to say is, I've, I saw I saw a video even on TikTok, right, where it was a it was a little white guy getting dragged because he said N word, and then it was a, a black man backing him up, and he and the black man was like, I don't understand why anybody anybody has a problem with it. Did he say it with hate? Did he say it with malice? Did he say it the old way? Did he say it this way? No, nah, he said my N word, and I think that we should all be able to say it. And when I look at that, I go, that's what we've been trying to say. It, it, if it's a term of endearment to you, to to your community towards each other, we, we're maybe we're kind of jealous. Where it's like, I actually would love to be in that group of, of people. Now you're getting somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> now we're making progress. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm not good at articulating. Look, that. look. I'm gonna say this though, Zach. Um, I'm Roby, by the way. Hey, it Roby. was great talking to you, man. Like for real. Um. I'm going to apologize for making a rash judgment and, you know, being a part of the mob because, yeah. you know, I really shouldn't do that. I need to practice more what I preach and like talk to people instead yeah. of just following the mob mentality That's because okay. I can tell it's dangerous to be on TikTok and just follow the mob mentality. So it's unfortunate. And I don't ever, I don't ever hold it against anybody because groupthink is a very powerful force. It's a very powerful force. And I get involved in it too. You know, it's like, I take one look at Lance, right? I still personally don't think Lance is a great guy, but I didn't know whether he was or wasn't when I made my video. He could have been a great guy. I could have been wrong. So when I made my original videos about him, it was groupthink. It was, hey, look at this asshole. Like, so, but um, I appreciate you guys both having me on. Everyone, including the woman that was here before, was super respectful. Yeah. Any comments that wasn't, that's on you. You got to live like that. I don't, but, uh, but I appreciate it. He, no problem, man. He got the smartest mouth, y'all. He's got the <laughs> You know, I, let me tell y'all something, okay? Zach, Zach be playing um his music while he be working and be dancing around and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I just be cracking up, you know, because that's what life is about. Like, if we was to walk up to Zach today and not know who he was, I don't think that Zach wouldn't look at you and smile and say hi. You know I also, what I, mean? if we I also eyes, don't. I also don't think people realize how strong he is and how strong will his mind is to take on these twelve million people that have just been constantly just digging. You that yeah. takes a toll on you. I don't think people understand that. Yeah, it's tough. And like, I mean, <laughs> it started becoming. I'm, I'm going to give myself a little pat on the back before I go, right? Because because. <laughs> It started off like I was just defending myself, but then I had so many people reaching out to me. I mean, a lot of people. Now, 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 some of those people aren't reaching out to you with good intentions. I'm, I, don't I say found, that. I like, found all this out the hard way. See, that's why I said, I was like, I'll, give you, I'll let you know that. Cause... I found a lot of this out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> like... See, what happened with Zach is what happened with Blaze. Yeah. So Zach had an issue, and all the people that needed a voice yeah. couldn't speak went yep. to Zach and, get, mm -hmm. and Zach got the voice and yeah. Blaze when all the people that that they that the other people the same people that did that to him did that to some black people yeah. 
And those black people went to Blaze, and Blaze gave them a voice. Well, you see, a comment just said, be better, be a part of the change. Uh, be better, do better, be a part of the change. But here's the thing. If we don't communicate with people, how is there going to be any change? Yeah. It's going to yeah. be more the same. Telling somebody who's trying to learn that they're not doing good enough is kind of how, how, you, how you get into that negative backslide. Yeah. It, yeah. This, this, is a, this is a progressive conversation that we just had. Yeah. There's no way you look at it. It's a progress. Somebody learned something here. Whether it's me, you, or you, or even somebody in the comments. I mean, I think I can say with what Roman just said to me, where it's like, I'd like to apologize. I don't think I, he owed me an apology. Uh, but he said he said it, so I'm gonna take it, right? Yeah. That's good. It's always good to say you're sorry to each other when you feel sorry. It's not for the other person. Apologizing is never. It's for, for me. It's for me. It, that's people, apologize. the apology is for you. Like people don't understand that it's not for the other person. Apologizing <laughs> accountability is not something that you can give somebody, and that's <laughs> one thing that I hate. That there is this there is this huge misconception of what accountability is. People think you can hold somebody accountable. You can punish somebody into accountability. That's punishment. Yeah. Look at the, look at the prison system. Why, do, why is there so many repeat offenders in prison? Because you're punishing them. You're not reforming yeah. anybody. Accountability is not something that you can bully into somebody's uh, psyche. That, that part. And because uh, it's, I'm telling you, you cannot bully somebody to do what you want. As, as, well, not me anyways, because guess what? You're never going to get it. I'm yeah. going to be, ten, I'm gonna be ten, ten toes down, and I'm going to keep going. When yep. you try to, I'm telling you, I'm going to fight my way out that corner. You will not keep now, me in the corner. I'm not going to lie to you that if after we have this conversation and I feel so happy about the ending, if you turn <laughs> around and start singing a song with the N-word or... Yeah, I'm going to be a little... I'm going to be like, man. I'm going to have to... I'm going to come holler at you if you do I'm that. Like, we aren't going to be nice the next time. You know? yeah, I'm going to be nice, though, but I'm going to still talk to I'm, you. I'm not going to cuss you out, but what yeah. I'll say is I'll be so hurt. If, I'll probably literally cry. If I ever if I ever lip sync a song with the with the, with the the N-word, it'll be by accident, right? Look, like, don't, look, don't do it to piss off other people because yeah. you're reacting, because that's yeah. what I'm going to say. Because, like, see, like, even though they see progress, they are still going to try and attack you. So, always... for instance, Finn trying to have the audacity to say that one man was a bully to a, how weak do you think my people are? Right. Yeah. How yeah. weak do you think my people are and you know, other I... races that also, are not white? Do you think it's... we're weak enough to get bullied by one man on the app? So also, right. people like Finn, right? Anyone who's an anonymous troll, right, who's talking to somebody who's putting their real name and face on here. Yeah. And trying to put these comments out there these instigating comments you're not really tricking anyone like you are not fooling anyone yeah. if you put it in your account it's all my face right it's right. all the clips it's every it's the highlight reel of zach's racism right you're the only person that believes that shit like i mean like yeah a i'm gonna i'm gonna say this bullies create bullies i said this in the beginning of the live bullies create bullies and violence begets violence why well, i say stalkers create stalkers I usually say violence against violence. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, we're not going to scoop past the fact of everything they did to create the bully you see. But and I'm, but what I'm saying, though, is like since from having these conversations and this dialogue, like just I just want you to understand that for me, if I see you using that word, just yeah. keep that in mind. I'm going to be offended. Keep that I'm in mind that Granny's yeah. going to be offended. You know what I mean? Like, well, keep that in mind that the black people that reached out to you to have a conversation with you, that you're going to harm, you're going to harm us if you, you that's, if, that's how you get me to stop doing something, right? If you tell me that if I do something, it will hurt you and I have respect for you, I am way more apt not to do it. Right. Well, that's, if you, and I'm, that's what I'm saying. We're starting right here. And, we're, and I'm telling you, like, for me, and, it's going to be hurtful. Like, I mean, so I won't do it. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you right now, after hearing that, it's like, I won't do it. Right. I just won't do it. And if I do it, I will fucking apologize instantly and say, damn it, I messed up. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to do better. I'll work on it a thousand times. And listen to me, and I want people to understand it's not going to happen overnight. So I understand yeah. that. So, <laughs> like, that's people don't think I'm going to be like, oh, I'm expecting to be like instantly changed. It doesn't work yep. like that. So. That, that. so let me tell you about being the queen of receipts, okay? Supreme, Lee, Pretty, Petty, or whatever your name is. 
Um, I might block you just because you got petty in your name. But anyways, um, <laughs> wait, let me read what they said again so I can make sure I'm right. Okay, just because something was done to you doesn't give you the right to be a bully back. That's so untrue. That gives you every right to be a bully back. Mm -hmm. I you don't control never people's tell reaction. Nobody, you cannot control home. my reaction. Are you exactly. kidding me? I can't stand up for myself. You I don't would get to, never. You don't get to control how I react to what you do to me. Yeah. Like, you don't get to do that. And that's what everyone needs to understand. If you hurt me, I'm trying to find a way to hurt you just as bad or worse. Yeah. I'm sorry. See, I, I like what said, Jack. For Wait, real. Just, Go yeah. ahead, Zach. Boy says, you got to be tired of apologizing. Just don't do it. I made a rule never to apologize unless it's something that I want to do. I will never let somebody bully me into an apology. I won't even let somebody convince me into an apology. I say I'm sorry when I know I'm wrong. Okay, so Finn, Thank you, been, Finn, so Finn, you've been following Zach since November, right? And you know what? I have, I've known, have, known of him since then, too. But you know what? I never took the time to talk to him. So now that you've seen that we've had a conversation tonight, can you stop looking back at the past and move forward with what happened today, the growth? Exactly. Stop attacking him. Because if you keep going at him with the same rhetoric, how do you expect him to change or continue to grow if you keep attacking? Yeah, I have screenshots of Finn. I block Finn, and then they will come back on Finn is watching too. And they, oh so, Lord, for Jesus! I set a clear cut. I set a clear cut boundary. I'm being the bigger person by saying I don't like the fact that you are aggressively coming at me when I've told you I don't want you to. They come at me with another one. Oh my God! See, look, he used the N word the other night. But yeah. where are we today, Finn? <laughs> Finn, where are we today? We're talking about this with him today. So do you guys yeah. not want resolution? You guys want to yeah. fight? What yeah, exactly. So, so here's my thing. Okay, so Finn, what do y'all want? What do y'all yeah. want? What why do you it, want? Why is it that you stalk me so much that you know my every move, right? Well, live and let live. Let me be the racist that you think I am. Just let me be. <laughs> let me be. Let me be this racist on the internet. All right, just leave me alone. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Finn, I, now you make it more count. <laughs> <laughs> I have screenshots of you. Listen, listen, listen. So remember when we first talked? Listen, Leanne Dukes, yes. They don't want to see him be better. And that's the truth. Do you remember when we first talked to each other? And I asked you about the N-word, remember? Yeah. And I said, are you doing this because because this is how you, this is what you believe as far as like Republican stuff and everything. And then where I said, are you doing this because if this is what you believe? Are you doing this to get back at the people that harmed you or something like that? Do you remember that? Yeah, I think so. And you remember you said, yep. kind Mag of both. Meg, you opinionated. That is going to be the clip. Remember what I said? You, you that is going to be the clip for tomorrow. The, when you said, let me be the racist, yeah. that will be oh, the clip. <laughs> but, let's, but wait, wait. But remember what I said to you when you gave me the answer? What's that? I said, okay, I'm going to wait until you're ready to talk. Because <laughs> right now you're not ready because you were still fighting. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm always you're still fight. fighting. But you you're know what? You're still fighting, fighting but fight. I feel like that I, you're more receptive now. And I, yeah, I'm, I, I definitely see that for sure. Well, yeah, when, you get thrown, when you get thrown into a snake pit, right? <laughs> you got to become a snake. <laughs> you got to become a snake. But yeah. then as, you realize, right? That it's like you don't you don't gotta bite everybody. Finn is no. I don't even know who Finn is. So Finn, I don't want you to feel like we're attacking you or anything. We're just like, yo, you got it. Oh, Finn's a, actual change. Tree hugger. Well, yeah. Tree so hugger. Finn's a provable. Finn's a provable stalker, right? Because well, it's like if I if I have blocked you, I have screenshots. One thing I do is the people that stalk me a lot, I screenshot all their stuff. Yeah, right? absolutely. Well, I, provable pattern and i can show you comments accounts how many times i've blocked you i even have all my data i save my data my data goes on to a text file and it goes right over to my lawyer because we're doing this lawsuit based off of all the stalking and harassment and bullying that comes on on tiktok and we're going to be able to take each account all 50 accounts and we're going to be able to go and cross-reference how many times you hey mr monfilio how many times have you blocked Finn is watching? Fucking 12, 13, 14. Like a thousand. <laughs> Finn, Finn, I love you, baby. I understand that, that, hey, you have a, he doesn't represent everybody that has hurt you. 
Yeah. And he doesn't represent everybody that has hurt everybody in America. Yeah. He he is human. He's he hasn't went out there and off nobody. He ain't red rum nobody. Exactly. Words he, I mean, dang, y'all. Like he people can get better. He hasn't went he hasn't crossed the line to actually harming somebody. Yeah. He I hasn't. Mean, if you break it down, if you break it down to what I have done, right? Like what I have actually done in this world that has that has warranted all of this harassment, it's words. Every fucking time, it's words. Like always words. Like, and I'm I'm sorry that I say controversial shit, but I mean, you gotta have to understand that some people are like me. Some people just don't have a filter, and See, some people, some people are ignorant. I'm ignorant sometimes. I had to remove that because here's here's something. I don't know his sister's name, and you ain't gonna put it in my chat. Right. Come on, you are man. not See? gonna put his sister's name in my chat. Don't you tell me your sister's name. I asked this man for his sister's name. I don't want his sister name this whole time. He's I talking. let you stay in every He's chat talking. I had. But as see, soon as that, you come in that, here and try and dox sisters, family names, then it's done. There's not that much hate in the world for somebody that ain't personally hurt you, bro. Yeah. Words are well, words, y'all. I'm not saying that people shouldn't say. Yeah, I'm not saying it's okay to say her for words, but no. it is not okay. It is but, not okay to have that much hate for one person. Yeah. Y'all need to go outside and touch some grass. There's something wrong. And see, Finn just proved that they were a bully, right? Because they weren't talking about me. They were talking about somebody else in the comments, Meg, who has a sister that, that she knows about. So they, they know about all of us. They know about my whole group. They know about yep. everything. They know everything so they about... they were talking about somebody else's sister in here? Yep. Yep, Meg Opinionator right here. Mine, yeah, Meg's, yeah. So that's that Finn her. And she was talking about talking to your sister? Yeah. And saying that, you know what, Meg, let me tell y'all something, especially since I got doxxed today. Now, now she'll probably come back. But what I'm going to say is anybody talking about anybody's sisters, cousins, moms, brothers, nieces, kids. Meg, I don't care if she posted publicly. This ain't her page. Right. This is right. not her page. And I, don't know her, have, when, I don't know her sister. So now you're well, giving me her you, sister. Yeah. You guys are putting other people in this conversation. Maybe it's got nothing to do with this. So when somebody, when Meg made a comment to Finn, the first thing out of Finn's mouth was your sister, right? It's like, yeah. Yeah, what's up? Like, why are you doing that, right? You can't go on the substance of the argument. You have to just bring family in immediately. It's like, that's got to stop. Y'all shouldn't know that she even has a sister. Right. Like, you, I you, mean, you, you shouldn't. Like, why you are you? know my name. I've said this. I've said this a hundred times. You guys should not know my name because I never gave it to you. Modern Warrior did. I don't mind that you know. But my name should be and should have always been Mr. Mr. Patriot. It should have always been that way, right? Because I was doxxed, y'all know my name. Because Meg's sister doxxed her, people know who Meg's sister is, right? Yeah. All this family infighting that's coming to the app, that's one thing. But Finn is. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna dog Finn out, but I don't even know who Finn is. Right. Finn could be my sister. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she could be undercover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we missed it. It's funny how these people will blame the person. <laughs> They'll blame the person they're doxing for getting doxxed. They'll be like, well, you should have been more careful with your right. social media. I, no, I shouldn't have. What do I need to do? I need a, a cybersecurity team in my living room every time I sign into the damn internet? No, it's like, just stop looking for me. Right, I'm at, see? Can you, can you read this, Misfit? No, don't take it personally because she's been talking to you. Oh, okay. He refuses to even acknowledge the growth in him accepting my comparison and owning it. This is, that was new and different from anything he's done before. He refuses. Is that well, a comment? He refuses? Well, no, so what happened? No, she's not mad. She's just been talking to you and you haven't oh, seen sorry. anything complimenting you. And you oh, know, after you sorry. Talk, no, he probably not pick, seeing all the comments. Yeah, he I'm doesn't not see them all because sometimes when they're in here, they don't see it. That's me. I didn't want to interrupt them. I apologize. I, if you gave me a compliment, I appreciate that. And I do see I will it. say this, though. Um, he has, I've, I see, I see a, a change, like, mm -hmm. from just talking tonight. And I mean, not even from just talking tonight, from before tonight, from when he came back on the app. I've seen some slight changes, but that's why I reached out to him and was like, hey, come to Granny's Live. Yeah, I'm glad you guys did. No, I'm really glad you brought me in. And it's 930, so I got to eat and I got to go to bed like an old man. All uh, right. Right, I got work tomorrow. Can you believe I have to get a job? 
Um, I, I got a job. I'm working a nine to five. Oh my god! I thought that I thought that you make all your money on here. I no, was. He I was. was. The same people that was messing with you, man. They took me off my game. <laughs> I they I will never again give them the power to say that they made me lose Brandos. I made myself lose Brandos because I was I spent time trying to defend myself. That reactive, that reactive Zach. She was reactive and it yeah, worked I was against reactive. her. It's a toxic cycle that you get sucked into, and I have been clawing my way out of it for months. Like, and they don't, they won't let you go easy. They grab on your nope. ankle. Like, they sure Christ won't. They Amanda, sure won't. Amanda said I made the comparison about the word colonizer and the N word. That's and yep. Address, we addressed it. I said. Yeah, she was. She was happy that you, you seen the connection. Yeah. yeah. She was saying that, and it was good because she said that the whole time she been watching you, she ain't never seen you. <laughs> she connected, she that was really good. So you see, Zach, this is good because you see one person that even if it's one, oh yeah, it's like baby steps. You only get a well, change. I have to go, Granny, because my favorite I TikToker is live right now. I'm on Aunt my way, Karen, and Aunt Karen, Karen is live, so I got to get to Aunt Karen's too. live. Tell her oh, I said it. I have an assignment. The What's next that? time we speak, Webster. Yes. Uh, too. <laughs> all right, Zach. Good chat, See, man. I was listening, y'all. Right. <laughs> Thank Later. you, guys. Bye. Bye, you guys. You're going to let him... No, so we don't... Oh, I'll say it. You guys, for every one person that... Uh, let me see if that's so... Okay. For every one person that hates you, there's a thousand people that love you. Thank you for being respectful in my chat. Hi, pretty girl, Madison. Yes, Amanda, it is growth. It is. He did not dox St. Karen's boyfriend. She said it wasn't her boyfriend. So until she admits that that's her boyfriend in the mugshot, he didn't dox her boyfriend. I can't, Madison. I don't know your phone number and don't give it in my chat. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Koi, Leon, thank you so much for your patience. You know, no matter what you said, I wasn't kicking you out, okay? But I was like, man, help me. <laughs> help me. All right, he talks about, exactly. He didn't even talk to the right person, so why is anybody mad? It's like, why be mad? It, it, it's not that hard, you know. It's it, y'all. Let's see where the growth goes first. Don't try and push them just to make them be like, I'm not. No, I'm. I'm not gonna message you, baby. If you're, I don't know you personally. I don't know you, baby. Ask the random person with the same name. Yeah. So whoever that person is. You know, he got doxxed by people that don't even know who he is, apparently. I'm telling you. Well, <laughs> right. But you know what? If he doxed somebody, they doxed him. In the beginning, they doxed him. So I'm not going to sit here and I've never doxed anybody. And my address got doxed today, today by those people and their followers. So what do you feel about that while y'all up here mad at Zach? Zach didn't dox me. None of conservatives doxed me. Black liberal TikTok doxed me and their white followers. So what are we talking about here? I, I'm not going to be biased and be mad at him. You just said words are words. Though. Yeah, words are words. But I said that you shouldn't say words that can hurt people. But words are words. You, I'm going to have to look at the, I'm going to have to roll the tape back. Because I'm saving this as part three. I got to find part two. I hope that the um, archives picks it up. But I'm going to go, y'all. I'm tired. The words hurt you in your career. No, not my career, Lexi girl. But be, being called a pedophile and being an essay survivor of someone that tried to take my stuff at six years old, it does bother you. It re-traumatizes you. So if you want to bring that up, you can kiss my ass. I don't care who the fuck you are. And you guys have a beautiful day. I love you guys. Take care.